Hare Krishna. So, continuing from the Karaka Prakaranam. <clears throat> Yesterday we had read uh, about the, the Karta Satantram Tat Prayojakam Cha Kartri. So, three kinds of Kartas, doers are there. One is like an independent doer. Swatantra Karta, the other one is the causative doer, um, Prayojaka Karta, and the third one is Prayojya Karta, one who is impelled to do an act. Impelled, caused, yeah, caused would be a right, appropriate word. So three types of uh, Kartas we read in, yeah, in the previous class. <clears throat> Moving ahead, Ukta Nurupam Eva Purusha Vachanadikam Kriyapade. The Purusha, Vachana, <clears throat> and so on, used in a verb, should correspond to those of the Ukta Karaka. Hmm. So, in a verb, the Purusha, like a Purusha is um, Uttam Purusha. Pratham or Madhama, first, second, third in English. Vachana, ek vachana, dvi vachana, bha vachana, ityadi. So, in a verb, all of these should be used uh, as per, or it should correspond to the Ukta Karaka. Um, examples are coming. For example, when the speaker wants to express a particular nama, nama, the noun, as the Ukta Karaka, <clears throat> Prathama Purusha is used in the verb. <clears throat> Prathama Purusha. When the speaker wants to express express um, uh, Yushmad as the Upta Karaka, okay, so when it says uh, Nama, so it means like, you know, uh, he, she, it, any name, any object, as we say in English. Like Prathama Purusha here refers to the third person. Uh, and if, uh, when the speaker wants to express Yushmad as the Upta Karaka, then Madhima Purusha. Yushmad refers to like you, you know, the second person. Madhama Purusha is used in the verb. And when the speaker wants to express Asmad, the first person, the Uttama Purusha, Asmad as the Uttama Karaka, Uttama Purusha is used in the verb. The same goes for the Vachanas. The Pratyaya, Stip and so on are used in the present tense. And the Parapada endings and so on are used when the Karta is being uh, expressed. That we know. Thus we get Vaishnava Bhavati. The Vaishnava exists. Which means the Vaishnava is the Karta of the activity of existing in the present because he's independent in the activity of existing. Since his Vyapara subset of activities is favorable to the activity of existing in the present. So, yeah, Vaishnava Bhavati. So, Vaishnava, um, we're talking of a, like a third person, and thus we have used the Prathama Purusha um, Vishnu Bhakti, which is Tip, and it's Ekvachana, that's why Ekvachana. Um, yeah. In Vaishnava Bhavati, the karta's relationship with the kriya is the main thing uh, because it is the karta that is being uh, expressed. Mm, yeah. Yeah, karta is being expressed. Being expressed means karta is ukta. You know, ukta. Uh, similarly, we get Vaishnava Bhavata dual Dvivachana. The two Vaishnavas are. And Vaishnava Bhavanti, the Vishnu Sarga got deleted because of the Sutra Advaya Bhava Gova Gopi Lopi Sarvishri Vishnu Chalopi Sandhi Sutra. So, which caused deletion of Vishnu Sarga. Vaishnava Bhavanti, Bhavachana. The Vaishnavas are. <clears throat> In the same way, we get Bhavan Bhavati. Mm, Bhavan Bhavati, you are. So, all the Bhavan uh, is like we are, we are referring to. Um, person, a second person, but because this is in respect, so that's why we use Prathama um, Vishnu Bhakti with, Bhav, with Bhavan and its forms. Even though, even this footnote says the same, even though the word Bhavatu, you, honor, honorific, honorific, expresses the Madhama Purusha, <clears throat> a verb connected with it takes a Prathama Purusha ending. This is a rule. I believe there is a sutra from uh, like, yeah, further for this. He Vaishnava Tvam Bhavasi. 
Oh, Vaishnava, Tvam Bhavasi, you are. Tvam Bhavasi, you are. So this is Madhima Purusha. Uh, ek Vachana. Uh, Yuvam Bhavataha, Madhima Purusha Dvachana. Yuyam Bhavata, Madhima Purusha Bhavachana. Aham Bhavami, Avam Bhavavaha, Vayam Bhavamaha. So these are examples for Uttama Purusha, Ek Vachana, Dvachana and Bhavachana respect. <clears throat> A pronoun of Yushmad, for instance, is understood even if it is not actually used. Uh, yes, this is interesting actually. For example, if I say, uh, Asmi, what does Asmi mean? I it? am. I am. So, Asmi imply aham automatically right so we can say aham asmi that's also right and we can also only say asmi and that includes aham because only only asmi can go with aham or aham can go with asmi you see similarly if i say asi so with asi it means you are so here Thumb. So with Asi only Thumb can be applied. Or with Thumb only Asi can be applied. So Thumb Asi. Like that. So a pronoun of Yushmad, uh, for instance, um, uh, is understood even if it is not actually used. For example, Bhavasi. So Bhavasi means Thumb Bhavasi. So Thumb is the pronoun, the Krishna Nama. So these such pronouns, uh, even if not written, they are understood. Right? That's yeah, why yeah. in many shlokas, in many verses, you won't see Krishna namas like being repeated and only verbs uh, are given and it is understood. Uh, it's extracted like in the gloss. Or it's understood. Yeah, so aham na bhavami. So aham yeah, so is but, uh, hmm, Right. The Avyaya, Asmi, I, is a, a replacement Nipata of the word Aham. Thus, Uttama Purusha is used also when there is a connection with Asmi. Um, for example, Tvam Asmi, Vachmi, Vidusham. I tell you that a group of learned persons is present here. Okay. Uh, asmi is used in the sense of aham here, it says. Hmm. And it's a nipata replacement. So asmi vachmi. Here, if you see this asmi and vachmi, looks like two verbs. But here asmi, as an avyaya, is acting as a nipata for the word aham. So it's like aham watch me. I am I speak. I'm speaking. It's not asmi as a verb. So uh, aham, have you used have you seen the such usages? I've uh, not seen yet. I have not yet seen ever yeah, like this. Yeah, same. Maybe rule. Yes. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> vidusham aham tvam vachmi. I am speaking to you. What? Atra vidusham samabaya tishtati iti. Here, the assemblage of the learned people are uh, is there, is present. Hmm. Now, there is one... So, in the Yoga Sutras, there is a concept of asmita. So... No, is it That's... connected? Like the Thai is connected with Asmi? It's a one word? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. I believe that. But... Actually, that Asmita is like a non-resemblance. Means something like which is not matching. Smita, Smita also means something. No, actually here, if you see the dictionary, uh, it, it means Asmita is like... Which is matching. Asmita means something. 
yeah, yeah, it means like egoism. It says the the you know. I think it's from this word asmi. Yeah, yeah, from asmi it's there. That's that's what it seems to say here. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so it's it's thinking of iness or something. Yes, 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 the iness. Okay. It, it says aham iti mama iti mm, va iti abhimane. So I am there, um, basically me and mine. You know, being a okay. in such a concept. Thank yeah. you. <clears throat> in examples like Ghato Bhavati, the, the pot is um, even an inanimate thing is accepted as independent. Uh, right. By Upachar, figurative extension. Yeah, Ghato Bhavati, the pot is now a pot can't do the Vyapara, you know, it's not a living animate thing. It's inanimate, but by upachara, you know, let's say by imposing figurative extension, uh, we consider even such inanimate objects or things as, you know, mm, yeah, animate or that they are able to do that act, execute that act. Um, uh, and it's not wrong. In Vaishnava na Bhavati, the Vaishnava does not exist and so on. The relationships of Karta and so on still exist even though na the negative particle na is used. Yeah, so even if na is used, then the Vaishnava does not exist. The karta, the kartritvam, the doership still lies with the Vaishnava. Yeah. Okay, we can read. Amrita says, Linga is included by the word Adi here. One was Purusha, another was Vachana, and the third here is Linga. But only a Kriya connected with the Krit Pratya has a Linga. Yeah. Only uh, in Kridanta Pratya, the Linga stuff comes up. Uh, despite the statements, Kriya Pradhanam, Akhyatam, Sadhana, Pradhanam, Krit. And Akhyata Pratya is focused mainly on the Kriya. Uh, whereas, Akrit Prate is focused mainly on the sadhana, the karaka. And Krit Abhi Hito Abhavo Drabhavat Prakash, Abhavo which is expected. Hmm. is made from the Krit Prate, Sushma Nishta, and so on. Function is mainly yeah, constraint of Akrit Prate. Therefore, they share. Mm-hmm. Therefore, they share. Yeah. <clears throat> the point to be taken here is that. Kridantas made from the Krit Pratyas function as the main Kriya. We were discussing this point, uh, like the Sanskrit part we were talking of. They use the Kridanta ending, the Kridanta words as verbs, rather than using the direct um, Akhyatas, direct forms of Akhyata. So the Kridantas, basically the forms, which are formed from the Krit Pratyas, adding the Krit Pratyas. So, so those then, are the ones like Krutavan, Krutavati, those yeah, ones? Yeah. Okay. yeah. They act as the main Kriya. On the strength of this, Vishnu Nishta, Vishnu Kritya, Adayashtra, Khyata, Van Mukhya. Therefore, they share the Linga, the Vishnu Bhakti, the Vachana of the Uktakara. Yeah, therefore, they share the Linga, the Vishnu Bhakti, the Vajna of the Ukta Karaka because they are Visheshnas of the Ukta Karaka. Yeah, they act as the Visheshnas of the Ukta Karaka. For example, Rohini Pakam Kritavati. So, although Kritavati acts as a Kriya, it's a Visheshna. Acts as a Kriya verb, but still by nature, it's a noun now. Right? Uh, and it has... And uh, yeah, thus Kritavati acts as a Visheshna for Rohini. That's why it takes mm, the same 
feminine gender ending and a vachana yeah vrindavanam drishtam chittena vrindavan vrindavana is seen with the heart so vrindavanam drishtam drishtam is a kridanta krishna sevya krishna is to be served yeah again kridanta sata maryada rakshaniya the authority of the saintly persons is to be safe guarded yeah maryada rakshaniya and so on i see i think in other sanskrit classes i've they've been called participles the ones that were you know using english terminology uh, you mean these kridantas yeah hmm so the uh, the krutavati is the active participle the drishtam is the passive participle hmm. um, asmad is included by the words and so on in the sentence beginning yushmad and so on the meaning of the paribhasha beginning uktan rupam the current sutra can not can be constructed in reverse for example it's talking of the na element let's read but seems to be interesting <clears throat> na this na is a is an affair which means not you know in mean in negation so na na is called paryudas when is when it is used in a sentence where the vidhi injunction is the main thing Mm -hmm. and the pratisheda is secondary and and nang is connected with an uttara pada we we'll have to see if there are any example of this but nang is called prasajya pratisheda when it is used in a sentence where the vidhi is secondary vidhi is secondary and the pratisheda is the main thing and nang is connected with the verb in the example vaishnava na bhavati nang is prasajya pratished because it is connected with the verb of it. i believe um, matsarta pro will talk for about this let's see oh he doesn't give any explanation is prasajya coming from some dhatu mm -hmm. shanda sange i believe yeah shanda sange let's see it's not mentioned here but i believe it's uh, shanja sange dad when samas sometime we use one nan samas is it similar what we are seeing the nan here there also are you talking of this meaning like, is negation are you talking of this like na maraha iti amara something like this yeah yeah this is like similar yeah so what is the question to you yeah where we are seeing in the beginning no on the top of the page that nan is called paryudasa when it is used in a sentence mm -hmm. and nan is connected with an uttar pad so is it that it's related to the similar like pratisheed means to reject something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm not able to get this prasajya pratisheed what does it mean then prabhu mm.
फुटनोट से समथिंग है परिदास नंग एंड प्रसिद्ध प्रतिशेद नंग विल बी डिस्क्राइब्ड इन मोर डिटेल इन अमृता 937 उत्तर पद राइट and uh, now is connected with mala and it becomes amala yeah so c sutra 778 for the reason why nayam becomes a this is this will be here there an example of prasajya pratishit nayam is pakvam khadyam na khadatu yeah do not eat cooked food <laughs> here the prohibition is the main thing and nayam is connected with the verb khadatu okay in the first one uh like the injunction the order was the main thing which was the khadatu and now was connected with the uttarapada pakvam two things in the second one uh, prohibition is the main thing and now is connected with verb now is connected with the verb in the previous one paryudasa now was connected with uttarapada here it is connected with the verb hmm so prasajya means mm, no paryudas means paryudas means a prohibitive rule Pro- prohibition hmm we'll see more about this but yeah for the time being uh, difference is in one uh, the na element is connected with the uttarpada and the injunction of the order is the main thing uh, and in the second one na is connected with the verb hmm. and prohibition is the main thing. very subtle difference actually prohibition and an order we'll see more about this वैष्णवाचार्य वैष्णव भावयती द वैष्णव आचार्य खॉज इज द वैष्णव एक्सिस्ट so here vaishnavacharya is the prayojaka karta the, the the causative doer uh, whereas the vaishnava is mm, the prayojya adhin karta or yeah prayojaka adhin karta sorry so the vaishnavacharya causes the vaishnava to exist an example when the karta is independent is vaishnava bhavati the vaishnava exists in the vritti the example vaishnava na bhavati vaishnava is not is an example when the karta is independent in not doing the action hmm. ukta naam prithang nirdeshe pratyekam samudaya se va sankhyam apekshe vachanani siu when the ukta karakas are mentioned separately outside outside of a samasa the vachana used in the verb should correspond to the number of each individual one or to the number of the aggregate hmm. yeah this is interesting actually uh, brahma ratascha uh, brahma ratascha vishnu ratascha bhavati now if you see here both brahma ratah and vishnu ratah both are ukta both are expressed simultaneously it can happen so it says then in such a case mm, 
the verb should you know now the question will be uh, regarding the vachana of the verb what vachana will it take which vachana will it assume will it take ek vachana or dui vachana ideally everyone will say dui vachana a general man because there are brahmaratha and vishnuratha but the sutra says that pratyekam va samudaya se va ek vachana ni bhu vachana ni su that the uh, like here we have two brahmaratha and vishnuratha so it can take singular or it can take dual so brahmaratascha vishnuratascha bhavati that is also right or brahmaratascha vishnuratascha bhavatah both are right and if it is like brahmaratascha vishnuratascha let's say shivascha then it could be bhavati or it could be bhavanti bhavachana this is very much used quite used i think mm. Bro, what is the significance of mentioning here outside of his samas? Outside of his samas, uh, <clears throat> let's say Krishna Arjuna Bhavata. Okay. Now this is a samas, right? So, yes, this is a samas now. Uh, with a samas, now Krishna Arjuna. Ending with oh, duvichna. So here we can only use duvichna. We can't say bhavati. Second case. Yeah. Second yeah. case. But if I say okay, Krishna scha, Arjuna scha, then I can use either bhavati or bhavata. Like that. Hmm. Yeah, but this is little contradiction. Actually, it seems like in Hindi, if we say Ram or Sham ja rahe hain. <laughs> yeah, that's why this is Sanskrit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing little contradiction with the other. Yeah, language. I mean, yeah. we shouldn't mix up with Ram the and Sham there. are going. Mm-hmm. That's why it's a separate rule here. That uh, either uh, singular uh-huh. or. Uh, Uh, dual or plural, depending on the number of the Gupta characters. <clears throat> uh, you have seen the usage of singular also, Prabhu, in such cases where yeah. the dual things are mentioned or yeah, more yeah. than two things are. Yeah, it's very frequent. I don't recall any right now, but I've seen it. It's quite used. Okay. 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 Okay, Prabhu. Thank you. And. this is now uh, actually karaka becomes very interesting you know very practical things are being discussed um okay so we'll do some analysis and we'll just next so canto 1 chapter 8 text 35 <clears throat> bhavesmin klishya मनाद्याम श्रवण स्मरणी कृष्णिवोटिसवत्सल अस्वे संसारे अविद्याम अज्ञा What is this? Dev, Devha, Dehadi. Okay, this is Dehadi. Agnyanad, Dehadi, Abhimanad. <clears throat> Klesh, Klesh, Mana, Nam, Tapi, Tanam, Jiva, Nam, Tan, Nivritta, Ye, Iti, Yavat, Shravana, Smarana, Prahani, Shravana, Chintana, Yogyani, Karmani, Karishan, Karthamichan, Tam, Jata, Iti, Kechana, Anne, Aam. Oh, Bhakta, Vatsala, Lord, the lord who is affectionate towards uh, his devotees some kechana they say uh, who, that <clears throat> you have appeared in order to perform so you have appeared tum jata ha in order to perform or execute uh, the acts the pastimes which are worth 
um, hearing and meditated upon, you know, which yeah, which are worth hearing and which are worth meditation. Uh, why so? So that tapitanam uh, jivanam tan In order to uh, like um, mitigate or take away, shatter the the clash or the distress. Yeah, the yeah the clash of the living entities who are you know afflicted by misery or afflicted by yeah, distress misery um, caused by deha adi abhimanat abhimana would be <clears throat> caused by considering themselves as the body identifying themselves as the body due to ignorance uh, in this world in this material world, sansara. This is the meaning. Hmm. Anything else? Is this a right way to write? They had the vimana. Yeah, I mean they had. They had the okay, this, abhimana. Sandhi is there. They, okay, it is they. Okay, they uh, are the. Yeah. Okay. Either may we ask Okay. So that's that's um, ignorance. I'm sorry. That's identification uh, from identification with the body and so forth. Hmm. Yeah. Is that okay? I mean, deha and then the extensions of the body. Deha dara sampat you know, apatya, ityadi, and so on. So in tan, tan vrittaye, what is tan referring to? Uh, it refers to tat nivritte. Tat refers to that klesh. Oh, the klesh, okay. It refers to the klesh or could refer to ajnana, avidya. Yeah. Text thirty six. <clears throat> Just a second. Text thirty six. Shrinvanti Gayanti Grinantya Bhikshna Shaha Swaranti Nandanti Tavekam Jana. The Ava Pashan, the Chirena Tabakam, Baba Prabahu Paramam, Padambujam. Ye Janah Tava Ihitam, Babata Charitam, Avikshna Shaha Nirantaram Shunvanti, Akarnayanti, Gayanti, Yutanti, Grinanti, Badanti, Smaranti, Chintanti, Nandanti, Anni Charitam, Abinandayati, Abinandayanti. Te eva achirena shigram bhava pravaha uparamam janma param paraya paramaha shanti yasmintad tavakam tadiyam padambujam padapadam pashanti avalokyanti. So those people, ye janaha, who constantly achiram, oh sorry. Constantly is Nirantaram, Abhikshna Shaha, who constantly hear Shunvanti, think, Eritanti, Grananti, Vadanti, to speak, who speak, who, you know, Chintan, who meditates, or who even um, Abhinandayanti is, uh, who appreciates others who chants the glories of your holy self, yeah, of yourself, oh my Lord. Such people, they ever, they certainly, very quickly, Shigram, um, 
have an audience or they see it should be dirgha but i believe some typing error here yeah it is trivikram okay so they yeah, witness yeah. or they see they have an audience of your lotus feet pad padmam uh tadiyam pad padmam uh which which cause yeah which cause uh the cessation you know of the cycle of of this parampara of janma marana bhava paramparaya uparama shanti so bhava refers to the janma mrityu chakra pravaha refers to you know the flow the sequence and uparama is like cessation so so which cause cause the yeah which causes the material bondage to stop hmm so such darshans happen this is the meaning so upa uparama was what uparama is shanti uh oh, okay. cessation all right stopping cessation <clears throat> okay we'll do text 37 abhyanta nastvam swakrite hit prabho jihasasi sut sukrido nu jivina yesham na chanyat bhavata padam bujat parayanam rajasu yo chitang hasam स्वकृतेहिता राजसु योजितां एवं भूता सूर्य प्रियान I'll have to say this. Yojita Angasa. Yojita Pradatam Akvodakam Yeshaam. Rajasu. 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 We'll discuss this the next. <clears throat> okay, so we'll resume on the next side. Hare Krishna. Okay, Prabhu, thank you. Thanks a lot. Dhanat Pranam, everyone. Hare Krishna. Dhanat Pranam. Hare Krishna, thank you. Dhanat Pranam.